Welcome to Witchy Work Wishes, a place to find your weekly inspiration for bringing your personal witchcraft into your business, work, and office. Hi, and welcome back. Today you are joining me for episode two, which is all about how great work mornings start the night before. Before I get started on all the things that make my work mornings good by doing some things the night before, I wanted to pull three things I did this past weekend to help with my witchcraft practice. The first project I did was to make some homemade rosemary olive oil. And I am lucky enough to have a beautiful rosemary bush growing in my garden. So I was able to go right out <laughs> on my front porch and do some cuttings and create the oil on my stovetop. The house smelled amazing as it was uh, blending and infusing together. And then I let that cool for a while and then strained it into an actual olive oil bottle that I have on my kitchen counter. I took the actual stems and the rosemary um, needles that were drenched and soaked down in the olive oil and spread them on some toast later with a little bit of cheese and I ate that for dinner that evening which was amazing as well and I've got a couple pictures that I'm going to share of my little kitchen witchcraft projects that I had this weekend um, but the olive oil was an amazing addition and I've already used it on some pasta uh, since then. Uh, the second thing I did was actually some kitchen witchcraft for my office and I made some brownies and when I do the brownies I'm not making them from scratch so I am cheating and using a box to start but then I'm able to put my own intentions and some wishes in there for the amazing girls um, that are my employees so I can share that uh, specific intention of good luck and good wishes during the workday with them. And I did mix some cinnamon into the brownies, um, a little bit of cloves, and then sprinkled some cinnamon sugar on top. So I have not had any yet, um, but I am super excited to try them tomorrow morning. The third thing I did was read a couple more chapters in uh, my current book, which is called Modern Witchcraft Guide to Fairies, Your Complete Guide to the Magic of the Fae written by Sky Alexander. And I am loving this um, so far. I am really enjoying the chapters, how they're laid out. This is not an area I have any practice in, and I am excited to complete the book, do a little bit more research on it, and possibly start my own journey with the Fae. So I am recording this episode on a full moon. And I am really excited to do some rituals this evening that will support um, my practice with the moon. And that will include a ritual bath. I will be setting out some crystals um, overnight as well as making some moon water. And I did play a part of this back already and realize how loud my crows are outside. I do have one that um, is very in tune with me. I call him Love Bug. Um, he did have a family over the summer and brought his family and his his little baby birds, um, baby crows, uh, into my yard. And I do believe most all of them have stuck around. I found that crows um, stay together and I think some of the um, babies of this year will help raise the babies of next year. That's my hope. Um, but he is getting a little loud because I think he wants some more peanuts. <laughs> when I paused the recording, I was able to zip outside and take a couple pictures of him. So I will add that to either Instagram or to my Patreon account as well. All right, let's get into the three main areas I like to focus on the night before I have a work day. And those three areas are going to be my kitchen and coffee my closet, and then my bath and bed. So the first area is probably super self-explanatory. Actually, all the areas are, I guess. <laughs> but for me, I do like to tidy up my kitchen, do the dishes, put them in the dishwasher, 
and clean off the counters and just kind of make sure that my kitchen looks good as that's the first thing that I walk into in the morning. Uh, the biggest prep for anything I do the day before, whether it's a work morning or not, is going to be my coffee routine. I am faithful to that and I have been faithful to that my entire life. I can say there are only two times that I stopped drinking coffee and that was when I was pregnant with my first son and then when I was pregnant with my second son. <laughs> the minute I could start drinking coffee again after um, you know, giving birth and nursing and all that good stuff, I, I did as soon as I possibly could. So the coffee routine as a whole is so important to me. It is something I will never miss. Again, whether it's work or weekend, that coffee is um, brewed or prepped, sorry, the, the night before. To prep my coffee, I grind the beans, of course, and then with each scoop, I say something as my intention. So I will say, I love myself, myself loves me, I love my boys, my boys love me, I love my family, my family loves me, and I love my business, my business loves me. I then take a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon and I sprinkle it on top and I say, so may it be. I pour eight cups of water in the coffee maker turn the little button on so it starts brewing about five minutes before my morning alarm goes off and I am all set. I can close the kitchen down and head into my second area of my evening prep. So the second area is really about taking my makeup off from the day, um, you know, brushing my hair, either getting into the bathtub or taking a quick shower. I do have long hair, so I don't wash my hair every night. Um, I try to only do that once a week, if possible. Um, but I'm real faithful to, or I try to be uh, most nights, uh, real faithful to the skincare line that I have and cleansing my face and putting uh, certain lotions on. I use this time to take my nightly vitamins and then um, also put lotion on my hands, depending on how much uh, paper I've touched during the day, uh, my hands get so dry and my cuticles get so dry. So um, putting a little bit of either cuticle oil or lotion on my hands and nails uh, is super important. After that has happened, I usually make sure that my week outfits are somewhat ready. I try to do this not so much the night before, um, but I try to do it on the weekends. So that's more of like a Sunday routine for me. But I do have um, outfits to get me through the entire week. So no matter what my mood is um, during the day, there's not like one outfit picked out for the next day. Um, but I have you know, five or six I can choose from. Um, so my shirts are ironed. Um, I do live in a pretty casual place. So going to work, I do or I can have jeans on and then a blazer or a sweater or a nice blouse and some jewelry. So a lot of times I do tie in what I'm wearing with maybe a, an important meeting I know is going to happen the next day or um, even the days of the week. Uh, we know I've got a great episode coming up called Monday is Moon Day. But you can also tie in the colors you wear to what days of the week they are. And we all know what Tuesday's like. Um, but you can also do your jewelry and um, it's nice to have things prepped so that you don't have to put that much effort into it uh, the morning of. So for my second section, that really is um, getting my face washed, taking a nice bath or a shower, and then um, double checking that I've got outfits uh, ready for the next day that are appropriate for whatever is happening. So the third and uh, last set of things I do each night to have a good work morning. I start with making a cup of tea. Uh, right now I am drinking a red clover tea and I do buy that in bulk in a whole um, format. And then I have a really cute um, wooden mortar and pestle set that I grind the, the herbs down in. And then I use a, what do you call it, like a tea diffuser? <laughs> Where you put the loose tea in. Um, I did take a picture of that, so I will add that on. I've got a cute uh, moon one that I use. And I let that start seeping while I get my jammies on and um, kind of grab what I need to do to actually get into bed. 
So I do set my timer for 5.25 in the morning. So going back to the coffee, the coffee does start brewing at 5.20 in the morning. The timer that I actually use is part of a sleep app. And honestly, I have no idea why I continue to use the sleep app because I know I don't sleep well. I have many dreams that either wake me up or I'm sure like most of you, I'm up pretty consistently between two and four. Um, but I track it nonetheless, <laughs> so, even though I know what it's gonna tell me each morning. But it does have a great um, alarm built into the app and it actually wakes me up with birds chirping, which I love. So um, once I'm in bed, I have my tea, I either will be reading my book or I will look at a little bit of social media and I try to go, I try to be in bed by 9.30ish and I try to get to sleep by 10. So that gives me roughly, you know, the right amount of time that I need for my age to uh, get enough sleep or the limited sleep that I can do and still have um, a good morning the next day. A side note we could definitely add in here for anybody who has pets is making sure that your pets are ready for bed when you are ready for bed. And that doesn't always coincide, especially if you have uh, dogs, but it is an important step to take. So I'm kind of adding that on as a side note outside of my, my main three areas. I do have uh, three cats and a dog. So making sure everybody is set and settled and ready for bed as well is very helpful for me being able to go to bed on time. Well, there you have the three main areas I try to focus on every night to make sure my good work morning is successful. And it definitely starts with the kitchen, prepping that coffee, going in, making sure my face is washed, I'm taking my vitamins, and I'm having either a relaxing bath or a nice shower, and then grabbing a cup of tea jumping into bed with either a good book or my iPad to look at some social media, setting my alarm clock for 5.25 the next morning, and then shutting everything down and hopefully being asleep <laughs> by 10. So my first witchy work wish was really to find out what I could do the night before to be uh, prepped and ready and energetic and prepared for my my work morning the next day. And this routine has really helped me a bunch. I am not naturally a morning person, so this is a very specific purposeful act that I go through each night to make sure that I'm ready to go the next morning. So with that, I did wanna share a little poem I wrote about um, how great mornings start the night before to kind of wrap up this episode. Um, so here we go. Our morning starts the night before with all the things we must restore. Our face gets washed and our bodies soak. The bubbles dance as the fairies joke. The tea steeps strong as the jammies wrap and the fluffy blanket drapes on our lap. Our beauty sleep may not be long. That morning bell will sing her song. But till that time, we all shall rest and wake up happy to be our best. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode. I really had fun listing everything out and sharing with you the three main areas that I focus on each night to have a good work morning the next day. I will have all of my notes listed on my um, patron account and I'll try to put some of the pictures on Instagram as well. I know I did take a couple uh, for the tea, uh, certainly with the rosemary that I was making. I don't think I took any brownie pictures, <laughs> but I'll make sure to add those on along with any additional notes uh, for my subscribers. And I'm really excited about next week's episode as well. It is all about tracking your time and journals, for my witchy work wishes, this was a really big one. Uh, journaling does not come naturally to me, although over the years the time tracking has, 
journaling is a very forced act that I'm still being very deliberate with and I'm hoping it turns into something more natural later but it is something I do believe will help me um, bridge that witchy work wish to my office. I hope everyone is having an amazing week so far and you really enjoyed your Sunday full moon and was able to capture all of the magic that she gives on those full moon nights. That wraps it up for this week and I will talk with you next week. Thank you for joining me today at Witchy Work Wishes, a place to find your weekly inspiration for bringing your personal witchcraft into your business, work, and office. For more information and additional content, please visit me online at witchyworkwishes.com. You can send an email to info at witchyworkwishes.com or follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Just search for Witchy Work Wishes. Mm-hmm.